competition. We have a male and a female pilot from the Angel Robotics teams. This is Kim from Angel Robotics 1 to get the action underway. And look at the motivation from the team. Listen to them pushing him already. And Hamey, this is a determined team to take the gold with a task is achieved. First green light, 16 points on the board. Now into the slalom. Yeah, we see here that uh, it's a very interesting solution that they chose for the wheelchair with his um, slope, with his wheels and ropes. Now, this is the man that everybody's got to beat, Florian Haus. Look how quickly he goes through that slalom. He's a superhero in Switzerland, and he really does push it to the limit soon. This is great to watch. Yeah, this is like mountain biking, I think. He's really running over these obstacles. This could be the main challenge, perhaps, for the defending champ, Hauser. And this is uh, uh, Yuri Larin of uh, Russia. He's an experienced Cyberthlon athlete, and sixth in this race last year. Then RT Movers is the second Japanese team. The RT stands for Rough Terrain. Successful in the first task and uh, looking good in slalom in the second task here. There's the second green light for Morita Masinori. And both the Japanese teams are looking strong here. Now let's go back to Hauser's suit. And again, this is where he really is brave, pushing the machinery to the limit up and down the stairs. Yeah, we can see that he's really competitive. He's just going through the past. He has no fear. And a perfect score of 29 points. So the South Koreans are both in excellent form here. Here's the second of the Angel Robotics. This is Team Robotics Team 1. Again, climbing the stairs with amazing speed. Yeah, here is very impressive also to see that he's actually taking one step after the other. A lot of other exoskeletons, if you will see, will bring both feet into the same step before taking the next one. And he is the leader, Angel Robotics Team 1. It is Kim jong uk that leads. Perfect score, 45, but look at the clock. This is remarkably quick. Two minutes, 20 on the clock, and he's already coming the backside of the stairs and heading to the penultimate task, which, of course, is the tilted oh, part. The sixth and final task, and he's only got two minutes, 35 on the clock. Florian Hauser raising his game with Sporting excellent when he needs it most, but here is the precision part of his challenge, and this is looking faultless soon. He really did excellent. I mean, but also his wheelchair seems really fitted to him. So, and it needs, and it seems also that it's very high technical wheelchair. And there is the closure of the door releases and he closes and crosses the line that is an amazing time three minutes zero four hundred points yeah! clean score from start to finish and that yeah, is which is task four before moving on to the tilted path but look at this from kim the leader and coming into the sixth and final task there he looks to open the door go through that doorway and then down to end the challenge this is lightning speed and he's as fast towards the end of the challenge as he was at the beginning, Amy. Yeah, you can really see that he has very good control of the device itself. The, the interaction here between the human and the robot is uh, actually quite astonishing to watch. And the transitions from one task to the next are very, very smooth. He's really pushing down here. What a brilliant performance for Kim Angel Robotics Team 1. 3 minutes 49, the perfect 100 point score. That will take some beating. Not only was each and every one of the six tasks well performed perfectly, but the speed of movement with that exoskeleton, quite remarkable. Nezarov is there to congratulate his pilot and uh, exceptional performance. So that leaves two Japanese teams in the battle for the bronze and fourth medal position. And it looks like Fortissimo are ahead. For that bronze medal, RT Movers struggling just a little. Still two tasks to be complete, completed for Morita. Working on the control pad across this tiled path. Again, Sue, this is an all-important task. 
poor daily use of the wheelchair but so easily can go wrong exactly it's really hard to drive over obstacles which are uneven and also then to keep up the gravity and also then to drive this wheelchair properly now hiroshi nojima just needs to close the door you can see the arm the robotic arm just closing that door, and it looks like Fortissimo are looking good to take the bronze medal. The best of the two Japanese team, as it needs to be, shut properly, close that door. Then the robotic arm put back into position. And uh, Nojima takes the bronze medal. Third position for Fortissimo. Five minutes, 38 seconds. Nobody can get close to Florian Hauser and the HSR enhanced team with uh, Fortissimo still clearly delighted with third position and a bronze medal. Good work for the Japanese team.